Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. In this video I'm just going to go over a new feature that was recently added to Gmail, which is the ability to set custom background images for themes. Previously you were able to customize your theme by setting colors for text and stuff like that, but you weren't really able to add an image to a background. Um, but this has changed recently. Uh, on Thursday, April 14th, uh, G Gmail software engineer posted this blog post right here to the official Google official Gmail blog, sorry, um, explaining how you can do this and that it's now available. So um, if you want to do this, all you need to do is log into your Gmail account and then click on the settings button right up here and then click on mail settings. From there you can go over here and click on themes and uh, over here you can see a bunch of different themes that you can use and apply to your Gmail account. Right here the bold blue is the pretty much standard one but there are other themes you can choose like steel, green, and there's ones that also have images like mountains and stuff like that, pebbles, turf, marker, android. Anyway, these themes are great, but if you want to customize your own theme with your own image, um, you can do that. So all you need to do is click on create your own theme and it'll launch this window right here. And what this, what this window does is it'll, it allows you to customize your theme uh, in any way you want. This is basically a mock-up of a Gmail interface. And you can see that these are the standard colors for the um, for the Gmail interface, uh, those that are used in the bold blue. But you can change them any way you want. If you want to change a link color, all you need to do is click on that, and you can choose your background color for the um, this section right here of your Gmail interface. You can change the text color if you want it yellow. You can change it yellow if you want it blue. You can change it blue. Um, if you want it black, you can have it black. You can also change the color of links um, to whatever you want. But anyway, if you want to set a custom background image to make this more personal, all you need to do is click over here. And there's two ac actually two backgrounds. There's one on the top up here in the header, and there's one up down here in the footer. And if you want to have a, a consistent background image throughout, you actually have to set the image twice. But anyway, you come over here, and you can click. And down here, um, instead of setting the colors, you can, which you can do also, but you can also set it to your own image, which you can do just by clicking select here. And then you can actually use one, an image from your Picasso web albums, if you have any in there, or you can upload it straight from your computer. Um, in this, we're going to upload it from the computer. I have an image on my desktop right here, and we'll upload. And this image right now is in this part, but if, as you, if you notice, it's not down here, and it's not in the middle. So in order to get it into the middle, we're going to change the alignment, and actually the tiling, to both, instead of horizontal or vertical. And that'll make it so that it comes down to here. Uh, which is good. And if we want to set it to have a bottom theme uh, background image, we have to select the image again for the footer, click browse, and if you click on the image again, as you can see it's down here in the bottom, and uh, I didn't really change the alignment for this, so, and it works out good. So all you need to do now is just click on save when you're ready and you have your theme all customized and whatnot. Uh, let's play around some text again. Anyway, if you click on save, the theme will be applied to your Gmail account. Or theoretically it should be. I don't know why it's not working here, but here we go. So this is what it'll look like. This is the theme that we created. So basically this is all you need to do, and if you don't like your theme, you can go back, click on this, and customize your theme again. Um, you can reset it if you don't like it, and it'll go back to what it what it was originally. But anyway, yeah, if you play around with this, you can create some pretty cool looking themes. Maybe if you have some pictures you took of a, of a nice landscape or something um, with a camera or your phone and you want to upload it to, the, to your background, you're able to do that now. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions um, for a new video or blog post, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, you can also send me a message on YouTube if you'd like. Uh, in addition, if you're interested in what I'm doing, or for some, some interesting facts or whatever that I happen to post to Twitter, please feel free to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash jamiemcg. Uh, and additionally, please feel free to head on over to technicalcafe.com for some more tech news, tips, tricks, uh, and all types of stuff like that. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.